three words, challenging, crazy, proud. Wild, fun, I can't even say satisfied because I'm not satisfied. I would say unpredictable, crazy, uh, great. Tough, it was fun, historic. Last summer was def definitely uh, different. Different type of atmosphere, you know, uh, the COVID situation, not being with our kids and, and able to like cope with it together. A lot of phone calls, text messages, uh, Zoom calls as well. So uh, we did all of those things and just tried to keep the team together and positive and, and focused. For me individually, um, it was a, like an emotional time because it kind of hit close to home. But um, I kind of use basketball as like a, a coping mechanism. So I kind of use it to like tune out everything else outside in the outside world. It was just like talking to the girls, talking to like the upperclassmen, the freshmen. We had a group chat. We would always talk to each other. So it was kind of like, I can't wait to like meet them and see like what they're really about. We definitely had the group chat going, making sure everybody was safe, family was good. It felt great to, to actually be back working and doing what we love to do. Just getting everybody together uh, was a, a really great feeling and everybody really enjoyed that. It was good to be able to talk through some things uh, face to face uh, for the first time. It felt good, but it was just really different because being that we were the only ones here on campus and there was no really, no activity going on, there were less distractions, so in a way it kind of helped us. And we were just focused on one thing, which was winning basketball games. Every year is a new year. Every year you have a different team. You could have the same players, but still it's a different team. The culture is going to be what the culture is, no matter who's wearing the jersey, who's wearing the uniform. So. We have a philosophy, we have a way of doing things. Togetherness is, uh, is, is paramount. That whole culture and as one is, uh, is a way of life for us. The as one identity, I really like it because it's obviously a team sport and everything that we do, we're doing it together. We're always happy for each other if we get a win. And it's the same when maybe we don't have such a successful day. We all go through that together. Yeah, we certainly uh, leaned heavily on, on, on players like Tierra McQueen, uh, Kendra Williams, and certainly Ty Thornton uh, to kind of show, you know, the newcomers, uh, this is our way of life, this is our way of thinking, and this is how we approach the game. Uh, and those young ladies came through uh, mightily for us. I feel like it was hard at first just because of the limited time we had to prepare for, like, games. But I feel like the newcomers, the freshmen, the transfers, everybody did a good job and we all mesh really well. So I think us bonding like personally on like a personal level, it helped us on the court. The inexperience of the, the players uh, that, that stood out to me, but at the same time, their uh, mental toughness, like they were all uh, mentally tough. All of the freshmen, the transfer students, like they came in, they had this mental toughness about them. Uh, so we were really excited about the toughness part, and then we said, hey, you know what? It's just, it's a long season. We're gonna need this whole season because we didn't have a, uh, a summer program last summer to kind of get them in and, and get them acclimated. We knew we were gonna need the entire season to try to get to where we needed to get to, but we were very, very excited and pleased with their, their mental toughness. gratifying feeling at, at the end. I remember uh, being in the game coaching, I'm like, I haven't coached in a while, <laughs> you know? Uh, but it was, uh, it, was a, it was a good feeling to be out there, to be able to pull that game out in the, in the way we did. And it, it just showed me what was to come. Yeah. Uh, I knew after, after that game, uh, watching us play, uh, and after that game, I said, you know, we, we, we could have something here. 
it was my first game, so I was nervous. You know, I was like, I was in my head a lot. Like, don't mess up, don't do this, don't do that. But at the game, when the game was over, it was like, oh, okay, it wasn't that bad. Like, you like you know how to do this. Like, you you're here for a reason. You belong here, so just act like you know what to do. Very satisfying. It um it kind of reminded us like what we're here for. We came here to play basketball, be competitive, and being able to pull out that win. I think it set the tone for the rest of the season. It was great because we didn't know if we were going to have a season. So just being able to play is just like a blessing in itself. The game itself, like thinking back on it, it was pretty scrappy. Like it was scrappy, but like I remember Coach Mitchell at the end saying, a win's a win. I always had the end goal in mind and seeing bigger picture the whole season throughout conference. I always wanted to be in the championship game. I know we all did, we always did. So starting it off with four wins in a row was obviously, felt like we were on track. I knew it was gonna be like a wild and a different season, but like, I wasn't expecting this, but I think we did a good job controlling the controllables. So we always said like, if we don't get to play a game, we don't want it to be on our part. We would rather it be like somewhere else. I knew we weren't gonna test positive. Our coaches kept us tight. We weren't gonna test positive. We didn't want no issues. It didn't surprise me because I knew that everyone was doing what we were supposed to. We all took it really seriously. We were really just focused on basketball the whole season because it was such a different year. We just had our sights set on the end goal. Uh, I, I think we were supposed to go to Niagara the first weekend and that got switched. And Iona was supposed to be a home series for us, but we uh, graciously agreed to, to go and play an away series at Iona. And I don't, I don't know anybody else in the conference would do that. You just gotta give a lot of credit to the players. You gotta give all the credit to the players. Uh, being able to uh, uh, switch gears from, uh, we're, we're traveling up to Buffalo. No, we're not, we're going, we're gonna go to Iona. Wait, we're giving up a home series. So I believe we had a, a Thursday practice and then, you know, the Mac needed someone to go play Manhattan. So we gave up another series with someone else that we prepared for our week. So we were like, okay, you know, the MAC needed us. We were, we were team players. We were like, okay, we'll, we'll play, let's go. And, and that just goes to show to my, you know, again, to my players and my staff, like we're, you know, you wanna play, let's play. Uh, Sky Castro uh, in a shoot around uh, the day before that, that second game uh, came to speak to me. And she said some, some really things, and it was really big of her. Once, once we got off the bus and she, she came to say, Coach, I need to talk to you, and we had that talk, I knew we were going to win that day. You know, and I knew we were going to start ascending from that point because we, like, Scott took a step, we took a step. We didn't like the seating that we were at, so it was kind of like, look, we got, now we got to win these games to make sure, show, show the Mac who we are. I feel like we, we're always underrated. So we've been underrated this whole time. So to come from ninth to third, that shows y'all who we are. That only shows what, the, what we're gonna do for this year. I feel like it was more so we knew what we were capable, capable of. So I think we just acted on it. We just played our hardest basketball we've ever played. It was a big deal getting that far and being that high in the rankings, being that we were seated so low in, at the start of the um, season. Uh, I just recall Taylor Abraham hitting a really big shot for us. When Taylor hit that shot, boom, we're gonna win this game and we're going to the championship. When the, um, the buzzer went off, it was more like, oh, wow, like we're really doing this. We can keep this going. So I think it was just a big boost of energy and it gave us more confidence going forward to like the next round. We were excited, like, I don't know, y'all can still that joy for me. The fact that we made it to the chip, you know, that was, that was fun. See all the headlines, St. Peter's made it to the chip, they broke history, that was fun. To be a part of it, only be a freshman, that was fun, like that was like, you know, awesome. It was really exciting, obviously I was super excited, but I kind of expected 
to win that game again. I expected for us to win because we'd done it before. We knew who we were up against. It wasn't like it was a brand new team. We knew what to do. But I think we all felt a bit of, you know, relief. Like, hey, we did something that hasn't been done in nearly 20 years at St. Peter's. Uh, no one can say we're not this ever again. Uh, so uh, we were really, really excited during that time. We made it there, we got a taste of what it was, so now it's just like, now we know what to expect when we get there. Now we know, now we're that team to beat. Understand that we're up there now, so now we have to keep going. Like, don't, we can't go, we can't afford to go backwards. We can't go to the MAC and lose in the playoffs. We have to make it to the chip and win the chip. Well, I just think, yeah, there's definitely a sense of pride that we all have, but I think we have a very tough team. Uh, we kind of just take what's thrown at us and obviously we showed that last season and yeah I definitely think we did deserve to be in the championship game. We just got to work. We got to work harder than last year. We worked hard last year but we got to work even harder this year so I think every, if we all stay on the same page and everybody knows their role on the team if we can all just put the pieces together we'll be back in the same position or even better next this upcoming season. No one is satisfied. I, I kind of have that feeling like when I was at FDU, I coached uh, and in 2013, we won the conference, uh, our conference for the first time in FDU's history in 2013. Uh, and then we lost that first round in the NCAA tournament. So I kind of get that same feeling like, okay, we knew what it took to get there. In 2014, we go win a national championship. So now I kind of get that feeling like we got to the MAC Conference Championship and lose. So we kind of know what it takes to get there and now we, we know the extra step that needs to be taken that uh, we've learned from our, our pain, our painful loss last year. So I feel good. <laughs> I feel great, great about the season. Three words, challenging, crazy, proud. Wild, fun, I can't even say satisfied because I'm not satisfied. I would say unpredictable, crazy, uh, great. Tough, it was fun, historic. <laughs> <laughs>